To understand an ischemic stroke, let's start with the brain's blood supply. Here's an incredible cadaver dissection, and you're zoomed into the right side of the neck here. And if I reflect this muscle out of the way called the sternocleidomastoid, you can see the carotid arteries. Here we have the common carotid artery, and this is what you'll feel when like you're trying to feel a pulse on your neck. But the common carotid artery will branch into an external carotid artery and an internal carotid artery. The external carotid artery supplies the face with blood, but the internal carotid artery will go into the skull, and this is the major pipeline that delivers blood to the brain. And it will branch into smaller vessels like the middle cerebral artery, which we'll talk about in just a second. But inside the brain, these vessels will eventually become tiny capillaries, feeding oxygen to billions of neurons. During an ischemic stroke, something blocks one of these vessels, cutting off the blood flow, and the most common culprit, a blood clot. Either a thrombus, which forms right in the brain's arteries, or an embolus, which travels from somewhere else, like the heart.